Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will complete exercise 5.3 from additional mathematics. Exercise 5.3 is all about logarithm. Number one, write as a single logarithm. So 1a, how can you solve? 2 base log 5 plus 2 base log 3. From the formula, we know that if base are same, then we can just multiply 5 and 3. So, 5, 3 is 50. So, 2 base log 15 will be the answer of 1a. Now, 1b. 1b says 3 base, 3 base log 12 minus 3 base log 2. So, base is same and there is a subtraction sign. So, we can divide the 12 and 2. 12 by 2, that will be, that will be 6. So, answer should be 3 base log 6. Number C. Number C says 3, 5 base log 2 plus 5 base log 8. So, we can write in this way 5 base log 2 whole cube plus 5 base log 8. Now, if both base are same in logarithm, we can say 2 cube equal to 8 plus will be converted as multiplication at 8. So, our final answer should be 5 base log 64. Number 1D. 1D says 2, 7 base log 4 minus 3, 7 base log 2. We can write in this way, 7 base log 4 square minus 7 base log 2. 3 will go here, so it will be Q. Okay. Now, we can write 7 base log 4 square represents 16, 2 cube represents 8. Negative sign will be converted as division by using the formula. Now, 7 base log 16 by 8 will be 2. So, that is the final answer. See, the question says write is a single logarithm. So, we have to express our answer in that way. I hope you understand this one problem. Now, number E. Number E says 1 by 2, 3 base log 25 plus 3 base log 4. So, 3 base log 25 represents 5 square and half this one will go here. So, 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 plus 3 base log 4. So, both bases are same. Then by using the formula, we can say uh, 5, the plus will be converted as multiplication and that is a 4. So, final answer should be 3 base log 20. That is the single logarithm of this problem. Now, 1f to 7 base log 1 by 4 plus 7 base log 8. Now, 7 base log 1 by 4. These two will go there. So, it will be square plus 7 base log 8. Now, 7 base log 1 by 4 whole square represents 1 by 16. For plus sign, we can convert this plus into multiplication and this 8 will be there. So, 16 by 8 will be 2. So, we can write our final answer in this way. That will be 7 base log 1 by 2. Simple. Now, number G. Number G says 1 plus 4 base log 3. So, we know that there is a formula that is A base log A equal to 1. Okay. We can find out this formula for, we can find out this formula from exponential form. Okay. So, since other logarithm has a base that is 4, 
So instead of 1, we can write 4 base log 4 plus 4 base log 3. Since both bases are same, then we can write our answer in this way. That is 4 base log 4 is a so that is the solution of 1G. Now 1H. LG, LG5 minus 2. LG5 means actually 10 base logarithm. Okay. We know that three types of logarithm is very important. But in admin, you have to know especially two base logarithm. That is LG. LG logarithm means 10 base. 10 base logarithm. That is called LG that is also called common logarithm. Another one is ln x that means e base logarithm. e base logarithm is called natural logarithm. Natural logarithm. So here LG is given. LG represents 10 bits. When you will see LG, okay, log 5, that represents it should be 10 base logarithm 5. Okay, minus 2. Here we can write 2 into 1. Instead of 1, we can write 10 base logarithm 10. So 10 base log 5, 5. Here is a minus and we can write 10 base log 10. These two will go there. So 10 square. So right now we can say 10 base log. There is a negative sign, so we have to divide. So 5 divided by 10 square represents 100. Okay. Or we can write instead of this one, 5 by 100, that means 1 by 20. Okay. Or we can also write 10 base log 0 0.05. Both are correct. We can express our answer in decimal number and also fraction. So it depends on you which way you will feel more convenient. Now, next one, 1i. One 1i one says 1i, 3 minus 4 base log 10. So, similarly, 3 multiplied by 1, 1 represents 4 base log 4 minus 4 base log 10. So, we can write 4 base log this two will go there. So 4 q minus 4 base log 10. Now 4 base log 4 cube means 64. Negative sign will be converted as division and there is a 10. Okay. So we can write 4 base log 64 by 10 will be 6.4. There is a simple idea. If you divide any number by 10, then you have to just put a point before one digit from the last 6.4 will be the answer. That is a very simple way, okay, to converting any fraction into decimal. First, convert the denominator to 10 or 100,000, okay, then count the zeros and put the point, simple. Number two says, write as a single logarithm, then simplify your answer. This is very simple one. Let's start. 2a. 2 base log 56 minus 2 base log 7. So both bases are same. And we can easily see this one. There is a negative sign. So we have to divide. So 56 by 7, that will be 8. Okay. Instead of 8, we can also write 2 cube. Okay. 2 then 3 will go at first. So 3 and 2 base log 2. And 2 base log 2 is 1. So 3 multiplied by 1 will be 3. Then very simple. Now 2b. 2b says 6 base log 12 plus 6 base log 3. So since both bases are same, then we can write in this way 12 multiplied by 3. 12, 3 is a 36. So 6 base log 36. So instead of 36, we can write 6 square. Then we have to put 2 at first. 2 multiplied by 6 base log 6. 
and six base log six is one. So two multiplied by one will be two. Simple. Now number six. One by two, two base log thirty six minus two base log three. So we can write two base log thirty six and and half will go there. So thirty six to the power one by two minus. 2 base log 3. So 36 to the power 1 by 2. What does that mean? 36 can be written as 6 square into 1 by 2. So after dividing 2 by 2, we will get only 6. So 36 to the power 1 by 2, this part can be written as 6. So we can write 2 base log 6 minus 2 base log 3. So from this line, we can write 2 base log. Because of this subtraction sign, we can divide 6 by 3. So 2 base log, 6 by 3 will be 2. So 2 base log 2 will be. So that is the answer of this problem. I hope you understand this one properly. Now 2D. 2D says 3 base log 15 minus 1 by 2. 3 base log 25. So 3 base log 25, it will remain same. And half will go there. So we can write 3 base log 25 to the power half. 25 to the power half also can be written as root over 25 or 5 squared into 1 by 2. So root over 25 will be 5. So now we can write 3 base log 15, 15, for negative sign it should be division and 25 to the power half will be converted as 5. So 3 base log 15 by 5 will be 3. So 3 base log 3 is 1. So that is the answer of this problem. I hope you understand this one properly. Now number E. Number E says 4 base log 14 minus one third four base log 125. Now, similarly, four base log 40, this one third will go in the air. So we can write four base log 125 to the power one by three. So 125 to the power one by three. Similarly, 125, if I want to convert into time factors, then it will be 525, so 125, 5, 5, so 25. So 125 can be written as 5 cube, so 5 to the power 3 into 1 by 3. After cutting 3 and 3, we'll get 5. So 4 base log 14 minus 4 base log, instead of 1 to 5 to the power 1 by 3, we can write 5, okay? Now, 4 base log, there is a subtraction sign, so we have to divide. 40 by 5 will be 8. So, 4 base log, 8. Now, 8 also can be written as 2 cube. 8 also can be written as 2 cube. We need to convert this 8 to 4. So, now 8 should be 2 cube, am I right? Then, here, 3 will be at first, 3, 4 base, log, 2 also can be written as root over, 2 also can be written as root over, okay, now 3, and root over 4 represent 4 to the power 1 by, root over 4 represent 4 to the power 1 by, so 1 by 2 should be at first, so 3 multiplied by 1 by 2, and 4 base, log 4, 4 base, log 4 will be 1, so our final answer, 3 by Simple. Now, 2F. 1 by 2, 3 base log 16 minus 2, 3 base log 6. So, 3 base log 16 to the power 1 by 2 minus 3 base log 6 squared. Okay. So, there is a negative sign. So we have to 
divide. We have to use the division, okay? Because of the formula. We know I've already know the formula. I'm, I want to write it again. A base log M plus A base log. If the base of this logarithm are same and there is a plus, then instead of this line, we can write A base log M M. Or if I want to write a base log m minus a base log n, instead of this line, we can also write a base log m by n. Okay, we can use both ID. Now, 16 to the power 1 by 2 can be written as 4. Okay, why 4? There is a two different way. 16 to the power 1 by 2 represents square root of 16, and square root of 16 will be 4 simple. Second idea is that 16 to the power 1 by 2. 16 means 2 to the power 4, 4 into 1 by 2. After dividing 4 by 2, you will get 2. So, 2 squared should be 4. Okay. Now, and 6 squared. 6 squared represents 36. So, 16 to the power 1 by 2 will be 4. Minus will be converted as division. And 6 squared will be 36. Okay. So, 3 base log 4 divided by 36 will be 1 by 9. 1 by 9. 1 by 9 also can be written as 3 to the power minus 2. So, why? Look, 1 by 9. 1 by 9 can be written as 1 by 3 square. And 1 by 3 square is 3 to the power minus 2 by index form. Okay. So, we can write in this way. So, 3 base log. Instead of 1 by 9, we can write 3 to the power minus 2. Now, minus 2 should be at first. So, minus 2 into 3 base log 3 and 3 base log 3 is 1 so minus 2 into 1 will be minus 2 so minus 2 will be the answer of 2 f i hope you understand this one properly now 3 a 3 a says 2 5 base log 3 minus 1 by 2 5 base log 4 plus 5 base log 8 so all base are same so you can easily solve at first, instead of this one, we can write 5 base log 3 squared, 3 squared, minus here 5 base log 4 to the power 1 by 2. And here already 5 base log 8. Done. Now, all base are same. So, we know that if base are same, then if there is subtraction, we have to use the division part. And there is the addition, so we have to use multiplication. Now, 3 squared, 3 squared is 9. For minus, we have to use division part. 4 to the power 1 by 2 will be 2. And here, 8. So, plus 5 base log 8. So, instead of plus, we have to use multiplication. Eight. So, 8 by 2 will be 4. So, final answer should be 5 base log 9, 4, 36. Then, simple. Now, number B. 2 plus half 2 base log 49 minus 2 base log 21. So, instead of 2, since all base represent 2, so instead of 2, we can write 2 multiplied by 2 base log 2. 2 base log 2 is 1 and 2 is there. So, there is no problem. Plus 2 base log 49 to the power 1 by 2. So, this half will go there. Minus 2 base log 21. Simple. Okay. Now, here, 2 base log, this 2 will go upper. So, 2 square plus 49 to the power half. That means root over 49 equal to 7. So, instead of 49 to the power half, we can write 7 minus 2 base log 21. Now, since all base are same, in this logarithm all base are same, so we can use this idea. 2 square 4 for plus multiplication 7, 7. For subtraction there should be division 21. Done. So, 2 base log 21 by 7 will be 3. So, our final answer can be written as 2 base log 4 by 3. So, 2 base log 4 by 3 will be the final answer of number 3. I hope you understand this one properly.
Now, number 4a. 4a says express 16 and 0 0.25 is power of 2. So, 16, if I want to convert this one as a power of 2, we can write 2 to the power 4. So, why? Because if I want to convert this one into prime factors, we can see that 2 8 is 16, 2 4 is 8, 2 2 is 4. So, 2 to the power 4 will be 16. And 0 0.25. 0 0.25 can be expressed in this way. 0 0.25 means actually 25 by 100. Okay. So, after dividing numerator and denominator by 25, we can get 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 means 2 to the power minus 2. Why? 1 by 4 means 1 by 2 squared. And 1 by 2 squared can be expressed as 2 to the power minus 2. Now, number B. Number B says, hence, simplify 3 base log 16 divided by 3 base log 0 0.25. So, 3 base log 16 by 3 base log 0 0.25. So, how can you solve it? Look, this is very simple one. Uh, 3 base log 16. Instead of 16, we can write 2 to the power 4. So, we can write 3 base log 2 to the power 4. And 3 base log 0 0.25. Instead of this one, we can write 3 base log 2 to the power minus 2. Now, we can say these 4 will go at first and minus 2 also. In that way, so we can write 4 multiplied by 3 base log 2 minus 2 multiplied by 3 base log 2. After dividing log and log, we can find out 4 by minus 2, that is minus 2. And that is the answer of number B. Now, number 5, 5A. 5A says 7 base log 4, 7 base log 4 divided by 7 base log 2. So, we need to divide this one by this one. So, instead of 4, we can write 2 square. So, 7 base log 2 square divided by 7 base log 2. So, here, instead of this numerator, we can write 2 multiplied by 7 base log 2 divided by 7 base log 2. After dividing this one and this one, we can find out answer should be 2. So, that is the answer of this problem. Now, 5b. 5b says 7 base log 27 divided by 7 base log 3. Okay. Now, instead of 27, 27 can be expressed in this way. 3, 9, 27. 3, 3, 9. So, instead of 27, we can write 3 cube in 7 base log 3. Now, here this numerator can be written as 3 multiplied by 7 base log 3 divided by 7 base log 3. After dividing, we will get 3 as a final answer. I hope you understand this one properly. Now, 5 number C. 5C says 3 base log 64, 3 base log 64 divided by 3 base log 0 0.25. So, 3 base log 64. If I want to convert the 64 as a power of 2, we can write in this way. 64 by 2 will be 32. Again, 32 by 2 will be 16. 16 by 2 will be 8. 8 by 2 will be 4. And 4 by 2 will be 2. So, instead of 64, we can write 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 to the power 6. And he, a denominator 3 base log 0 0.25. Instead of 0 0.25, we have already find out uh, in 4a, 0 0.25 can be written as 2 to the power minus 2. Okay. Now, after this line, we can say 6 multiplied by 3 base log 2 divided by minus 2 multiplied by 3 base log 2. Now, we need to divide. If we divide this part and this part, 
6 by minus 2 will be minus 3. That is the answer of 5C. Now, 5D. 5D says pi base log 100, log 100, divided by 5 base log 0 0.01. Now, 5 base log 100 and 5 base log 0 0.01. So, we need to simplify this one. Look at this. 0 0.01 can be written as 1 by 100. So, by using the logarithmic idea, we can say that, we can say 5 base log 1 by 100 will be 5 base log, 5 base log 1 minus 5 base log 100. Okay. Or we can say 5 base log 100 will be the numerator and denominator will be log 1, log 1, 5 base log 1 will be 0 minus 5 base log 100. Any base of log 1 will be 0. But base should be the positive value. Okay, You have already know this one. So 5 base log 100 by 5 base log 100 by minus 5 base log 100. After dividing, we get minus 1. And that is the answer of number 5. I hope you understand this one properly. Now, number six. Number six says, given that u equal to 5 base log x, find in simplest form in terms of u. So, how can you solve it? Look, look 6a. So, the question says u equal to 5 base log x. So, this is already given logarithmic form. So, if I want to convert into exponent form, then we can write. 5 to the power u equal to x. Okay. So, that is the value of a. So, x equal to 5 to the power u. Number b. Number b says 5 base log x by 25. Okay. So, right now, instead of x, we can say 5 to the power u. So, here we can write instead of x, 5 to the power u, instead of 25, 5 squared, then 5 base log 5 to the power u minus 2. Now, u minus 2 should be at first, so u minus 2 into 5 base log 5. And what is the value of 5 base log 5? That is 1, so answer should be u minus 2. Simple. Now, number C. Number C says 5 base log 5 root over x. Okay. So, now 5 base log log 5 and root over x. That means instead of x, we can write 5 to the power u. So, here 5 to the power u and root over represent power will be 1 by so, 5 base log 5, here power is 1, here u by 2, so it will be 1 plus u by 2. Now, 1 plus u by 2 will go at first, so 1 plus u by 2 into 5 base log 5. 5 base log 5 equal to 1, so my answer should be 1 plus u by 2. Now, we need to solve number D. To solve number D, we need only number A. So, we will erase the remaining one. Number D says 5 base log. Here, we will get x root over x by 125. So, 5 base log. x represent, x represent 5 to the power u. And root over x, that means 5 to the power u by 2. And 125 will be 5 cube because 125, if I want to convert 125 into prime factors, it will be 5 into 5 into 5. So 5 cube. So 5 base log, 5 base log. Here 5. Then if there is a multiplication, then we have to add the power. If there is a division, we have to separate the power. So u plus u by 2 minus. We need to add u and u by 2 because there is a multiplication sign between them. And this 3 will be at subtraction. 
So now the whole term will be at first. So u plus u by 2 minus 3. And here 5 base log 5. 5 base log 5 equal to 1. And here we'll get 2 into u, 2u plus u. That will be 3u. 3u by 2 minus 3 into 5 base log 5. Four. So final answer should be 3u by 2 minus 3. And that is the solution of number D. I hope you understand this one properly. Now, number 7. Number 7 says, 4 base log P equal to X. So, if 4 base log P equal to X, then we can write P should be 4 to the power X. So, just we are converting this logarithm to exponential form. Similarly, if there is 4 base, 4 base log q equal to y, then we can write 4 to the power y equal to q. So we have two value, the value of p and q. Okay. So from the value of x and y, we are converting the value of p and q. Now, by using this idea, we have to solve this. The question says express in terms of x and or y. So first number one, number a, number a, that is says 4 base log 4p. So 4 base log, 4 base log, 4 plus 4 base log p. Because there is a multiplication, so we can add them in that, in that way. And 4 base log 4 equal to 1 plus 4 base log p equal to x. Already given, 4 base log p equal to x. So, answer should be 1 plus x. Done. Number B. 4 base log 16 by P. Since there is a division, so we have to separate. Use subtraction from it. 4 base log 16 minus 4 base log P. 4 base log 16, that will be 4 base log. So 16 means 4 squared minus 4 base log p equal to x. So 2 should be at first and 4 base log 4 equal to 1. So 2 minus x will be the answer of this one. Now number c. Number c says 4 base log p plus 4 base log q square. So 4 base log p equal to x plus if I move this 2 at first then 2 into 4 base log q. So x plus 2. 4 base log q equal to y. So x plus 2 y will be the answer of number c. And number d, number d, p q. p q. What is the value of p? We have already found it out. That is 4 to the power x. What is the value of q? That is 4 to the power y. So 4 to the power x into 4 to the power y. If I want to convert these indices, then it will be 4 to the power x plus 1. So that is the solution of number 7. I hope you understand this one properly. Now, number 8. Number 8 says a base log x equal to 5. Okay. So if a base log x equal to 5, then we can write x equal to a to the power 5. Okay. This is the first part. And if a base log y equal to 8, then also we can say y equal to a to the power 8. Okay. We can find it out. We can easily find it out. Now, by using this idea, we have already um, the values. We have already the value of x and y. So by using this idea, we have to solve these four problems. So number A. Number A says A base log 1 by 5. So A base log log instead of 1 by y, we can put A to the power 8. Or we can solve it in this way. Suppose A base log 1 minus A base log 2. You can write. So we know that log 1 is 0 minus a base log y that means a base instead of y we can put a to the power 8 
So eight should be at first. So answer should be minus eight. Then, or we can also solve in this way. Suppose a base log one by one. Now log a base log one by y means one by a to the power a. One by a to the power a. Or we can write a base log a to the power minus eight. The minus eight should be at first. So minus eight multiplied by a base log a will be minus eight into one. Answer minus eight. Look, both way we get same result. Now number B. Number B says a base log a base log root over x by one. So a base log root over x that means we can say root over a to the power five and y is a to the power eight. Now, a base log root over a to the power 5 means a to the power 5 by 2 by a to the power 8. Or a base log here a to the power 5 by 2 divided by a to the power 8 can be written as a to the power 5 by 2 minus 8. Then 5 by 2 minus 8 will be at first. So 5 by 2 minus 8 into a base log a then what will be the final one final one should be look this one should be one and uh here five by two minus eight can be simplified in this way to eight to sixteen so five minus sixteen will be minus eleven by two so minus eleven by two will be the answer of number b now number c number c says a base a base log x y so a base log x y what is the value of x a to the power 5 what is the value of y a to the power 8 so we can write a base log a to the power since there is a multiplication sign so we have to add the power a to the power 5 plus 8 a to the power 5 plus 8 will be 13 so 13 should be at for 13 multiplied by a base log a. So 13 multiplied by 1 will be 13. Then simple. And the last one, number D. Number D says A base log x square y cube. Okay. So A base log s. What is the value of s? A to the power 5. So we can write a to the power 5 into 2. That will be 10 x square. If x equal to a to the power 5, x square will be a to the power 5 into 2, 10. And y. If y is a to the power 8, then y q will be a to the power 8 into 3. 8 into 3, 24. So a base log a to the power 10 plus 24 will be 34. So 34 will be at first. 34 multiplied by a base log 8. So 34 into 1 equal to 34. And that is the answer of number. Now, number 9. Number 9 says, given that a base log x equals to 12 and a base log y equal to 4. Find the value of. So we need to find out the value of this one. So if a base log x equal to 12, then from this one, we can write x will be a to the power 12 and if a base log y equal to 4 then we can write a to the power 4 will be y so we will use this idea to solve these four problems so number a number a says a base log x by y so a base log what is the value of x that is a to the power 12. What is the value of y? That is a to the power 4. Now, a base log a to the power 12 minus 4. What is 12 minus 4? That is 8. So, 8 should be at first. 8 multiplied by a base log a. So, 8 into 1 will be 8. That is the answer of number a. Simple. Now, number b. Number b says a base log x square divided by y. Now we can write a base log instead of x we can write a to the power 12. 
So x square will be a to the power 12 into 2. a to the power 12. a to the power 12 into 2. By y is a to the power. 4. Then instead of this division form, we can write a to the power 12 to the 24 minus 4. 24 minus 4 will be 20. So 20 multiplied by a base log a. So 20 multiplied by 1 will be 20. And that is the answer of number B. Now number C. Number C says a base log x root over y. So we can write a base log. Instead of x we can write a to the power 12. Multiplied by instead of root over y we can write a to the power 4 multiplied by 1 by 2. Why 1 by 2? Because of the square root, we will multiply the power by 1 by 2. And what is the value of y? a to the power 4. That's why a to the power 4 into 1 by 2. Now, a base log a to the power, here is 12 is given. For multiplication, we have to add 4 by 2 is 2. Okay. So, 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 multiplied by a base log a. So 14 multiplied by 1 will be 14. So 14 will be the answer of number C. Now the last one of this chapter that is number D. Number D says A base log y divided by cube root of x. Now we need to put the value of y and x. So, a base log. What is the value of y? a to the power 4. What is the value of x? a to the power 12. So, a to the power 12. And cube root represents 1 by 3. Cube root means the power will be multiplied by 1 by 3. So, a base log a to the power 4. And 12 by 3 also 4. So, a to the power 4. a to the power 4 by a to the power 4. That is 1. So we can write a base log 1. a base log 1 will be 0. And that is the solution of 9. So I hope you understand this one properly. And that's all for this chapter. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Fiyamanillah.